So one of the ways we can uh, work out our hip flexion in a more active way is going to be we're going to be in our half kneeling position, kind of at the bottom of the lunge. We're going to do a little dumbbell punch weight shift so we get a little bit of a center of gravity movement. And as we go back and forth, we're going to see how well can this bottom hip this be considered more of our stance leg. Um, kind of because this would be the fixed, the fixed point on the ground. How well can this leg react and absorb it back and forth? So when we set up our half kneel, ideally it would be on the toe on the back foot just to put a little extra stretch in the hip flexion. If it's too much, we can drop the foot down. When it be everything's in line, sagittal plane, make sure our foot isn't angling out too much, our knee isn't getting out too much, unless we have some like big time hip, um, hip restriction. So we're gonna make sure everything's in line going forward. We're gonna make sure our pelvis is level. We're gonna make sure that usually this side of the hip will wanna pop up a little bit, so we're gonna make sure that's sitting level. So we're gonna make sure that's going across, everything's nice and smooth, posture's nice and tall. From there, we just want to feel a little bit of stretch on the front of the hip here. We can, go, we can lean forward a little bit if we want, just to make sure we don't arch to the back or start to lean forward with the upper body too much. So maybe a little bit of a translation forward. And from there, we're just going to do a little weight pass, side to side. And see how well we can get a little, you'll feel a little bit of a body drift just to keep yourself centered. See how well they can handle that. Usually you feel a little more stretch when you go out to this side because we'll have to shift over to the top a little bit more. And the other one, we can hit some diagonals, go in each direction. We just kind of do like a stir the pot thing back and forth too. All we just want to see is how well can we maintain our balance as we keep a little bit of a stretch on the front of this hip. So this is the half kneeling hip flexor stretch, a little bit of variation of some weight shifts with some dumbbell punches, start light and increase at a certain point. If it gets too easy, we can bring the front foot in a little bit until we almost end up in an inline stance. If you start doing a lot of weight, sometimes you won't be able to maintain that just because of well, like gravity and whatnot. If it's too hard, just walk that foot out a little bit, kind of wider our base until we get a little bit better at it. And then uh, if it starts to get too easy, even like mid-set, just walk her in a hair so we can dial it up and down. So, hop onto that one. Have a great day.